Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos, and welcome back to another episode of Ixion. Okay, so in the last episode, we found the protagonist, we opened this third sector, we're busy kind of collecting this stuff, so we are running out of room here, which that is being built up, so we should be able to um, quite comfortably collect all of the rest of this over time. Um, and then just clear off the rest of this so that we can <clears throat> start our farming sector over here. We've got neutral happiness in both these sectors, and I believe we are... Uh, oh, we've already done the, the Protagoras Diagnostic Analysis, and there's uh, this uh, telescope thing that we need to research as well. Okay, so let's um, head out to the <clears throat> do the orbital view, and we'll see what we're doing at the moment. So, we have the Ripley um, over here at Chevy... 34, which we'll have a look at right now. <coughs> We're busy sending colonists over We're busy sending colonists over to uh, via the glue scap, I believe um, It's unloading resources. It's got a little bit of um, silicone that it's unloading at the moment. So we do have silicone available and we can probably start that up again. We've got a fair bit of alloys, which is good. Um, hull integrity is holding and thrust is looking really good. Our power is almost at a point where we have to do yet another round of power. We still have plenty of crypto pods in the, in the, um, <clears throat> in the tycoon itself. Um, and we are. We've got plenty of iron. Carbon is the one that we're kind of running out of. So carbon and silicon is stuff that we definitely need to go pick up, uh, which we are doing. And I believe we're pretty close to getting this done. Um, and yes, so let's quickly pop into... Oh, here's some stuff that we need to do as well. Repair the superstructure. Provide resources to support the protagonist's crew, which I don't even know what that is at the moment, and I'm a little scared to go and have a look at it. Mind the ice cap trapping the Protagoras, that we can pretty much do, uh, which is which links into our third sector and water um, use. And research the retractable telescopic upgrade for the Protagoras. That we can do as well. So I'm a little, I want to go and have a look at what that is, but let's quickly pop into this and see what's going on. Um, Chevy 34 scan report. Our probe has detected an abnormally high concentration of metal isotopes within the core. We have reached the core of Chevy 34, 34, metallic and prismatic formations rise from its surface, reaching impressive heights. They disappear into the gaseous atmosphere. Some are around, uh, surrounded and spanned by geometric rock clusters accumulated during the slow uh, growth process of the formations. They shear the wind and sweep across Chevy 34's core. Now, Prepare intrusive analysis, detonating strategically placed explosive. Charges will provide samples for collection with minimal effort. Although not subtle, the Ripley's crew can set up and execute this quickly. Set up temporary study area with 30 alloys. Uh, the Ripley's team will set up a temporary study area within the shelter of a light habitat module, carrying out geologist survey with assistance of a drilling rig. The team will require additional resources supplied by a cargo ship. Once the survey has been completed, the team will upload the results and abandon the center. And then establish infrastructure to support exploration and geological analysis. I'm a little concerned by the fact that every planet has this very same method. Where it's these three things we can do and it costs us uh, an amount of alloys. And it just, the, the, the previous map felt, or the previous solar system felt that it's a little bit more diverse. This doesn't feel really diverse enough to me because it's the same thing over and over again it's clearly the best one is this one and we should have enough alloys to support that okay so what is it saying setting up infrastructure capital of supporting exploration and geological analysis will allow the Ripley's team to map the site topo topography and molecular composition despite being time consuming approach the team will analyze a large amount of data and will help uh, uh, of a dedicated PA let's do that um Glue scap has already been um, placed on the other mission. So what I'll do is I'll grab the I'll grab the kangaroo um, to, to, to do this. So kangaroo is on its way um, doing that. I'll pop into this one and we'll see glue scap is is on the way. Can't see which one. 
um, is there, but I'm pretty sure it was the glue scab. Okay, so let's uh, so that's underway at the moment. We can have a look at what's going on over here. Oh, we need to send another ship there. That's actually what needs to happen. So how are we doing over here? Um, things are moving. Let's speed things up just a tad. We probably need to build yet another one of these guys um, so that we can slot in a little bit of the electronics. Once that's done, we'll go and pick that up. That's going to give us a little bit more electronics. This thing's back up and running. We have some silicone, but probably not enough to really go further. Um, there seems to be plenty of stuff. Oh, and we ended up with this. Let's have a quick look over here. Administrator, the crew lives in anguish, having spent too long in a planetary system. Unsuited to our ongoing objectives, resulting in an increase in the severity of dead Earth sickness. Cases. Klein Munchi algorithms um, suggest that the tycoon must continually progress in its mission if the sickness is to be kept under control. This is becoming a little bit of a problem because now again we're down to negative energies. Let's have a look over here. So we're getting a plus two in this sector. I could potentially um, drop one of these guys and build something a little bit differently in here. I think that's kind of what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decommission one of these. Uh, we've already using that. So that, this is the last bit of space that we're probably going to have um, ready for us to use. And then what I would like to do is get a little bit of stability going on. So if we want to build something here. Wow, it takes a lot of electronics. Alternative Life Center provides one stability. Provides one stability in the sector tech three upgrades can increase bonus sectors with a specific specialization. Um, a lunaclism suggests genetic lunaclism and Marduk. Uh, provides one stability tech three upgrades can increase the bonus. And uh, <clears throat> similar over here. We unfortunately cannot build this over here unless we were to... Um, trim out that piece of road which I am not against so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, remove this piece of road over here and I'm going to say well let's go ahead and build this thing so uh, so we'll get a little bit of stuff going on so what I'll do is I'll switch that back on and hopefully things should be moving now over here okay hang on one thing that I have um, kind of forgot that we needed to do was that. So let's put that back in so that there's at least a little bit of access to that um, that facility there. Forgot about that. We could turn that around and put the, the, ro uh, the road in here. In due course, of course. Um, so I believe we should see another piece coming through. We have basically run out of silicone yet again, so we are awaiting on new silicone deliveries. Um, and then we should... Let's just have a quick look. I'm not sure if we're actually moving electronics over. Um, oh. Okay. An accident has occurred in the So let's tycoon. drop that a little bit and see how that works. Workshop has been... In sector three. Yeah, here we go. Workshops have been um, problematic. So yeah, we'll pick up a few more resources this way. And what we'll do is we'll go about um, extending our roads over here so we can uh, basically come and collect those last pieces um, over here we're still happy so that's okay this is still negative so we need to potentially uh, oh the other thing we could do is build the DLS in here uh, let's have a quick look what's the DLS actually going to do for us it's a much cheaper thing and then we can actually use policies um, to improve happiness can we put the DLS in anywhere else uh, potentially we can remove some of these um, housing facilities over time let's uh, let's finish off this one and we'll see how that goes I believe we we should be moving our electronics over that way um, and then hopefully we should um, get this guy up and running and I'm not I'm hoping it's not going to take up too much power I don't even know what it is but anyway, that should be good. Uh, here we've got silicone that's come in via the glue scap, and we don't have anywhere to deliver that. So what we can also do is let's grab ourselves one of these facilities for the time being, and we'll pop um, this. Uh, actually, we don't need that. Let's uh, dismantle that. We'll go here and say 
silicone in there, please, and we'll switch it on. And so silicone will be delivered. And then what we can do is we can move um, the silicone. Um, yeah, the silicone will then automatically move to the next one as we as we see fit. The silicone will then make its way to the other side. That's good. Yeah, so we are moving silicone through. Silicone is coming back this way, and we can continue to produce electronics. We've got electronics available over here. So what is happening? Oh, we are waiting on that little piece over there to just finish off. Um, and we don't have batteries or anything else in sector three, but we'll slowly need to make our way through um, in terms of sorting that out. If we pop back out over here, have we... Oh, that's still underway. Oh, we are probably awaiting some stuff. So uh, let's keep moving. Um, we will now have 30 colonists ready to go. So we're waiting on 30 more that should be making its way into the next round. What is this guy doing? This guy is going to go and mine a little bit of... So we just have a look here. Yeah, so all of that's done. So now it's going to head over and mine um, some other bits and pieces. We can probably do that. And we do need to send out another... There's a fair bit of stuff there to be mined, isn't there? Oh, no, they've all been mined. They need to be collected. Let's have a look. Is anybody collecting carbon? Yes, so glue scap can go and collect carbon uh, once it's done. And we do need to move glue scap back to the other uh, to the other bay, but that's okay. Let's see about a probe. Can we send a probe? We can. So let's see. Can we send something to we we would like? Oh, this is pretty close by. A fair bit of carbon over here. Carbon and iron, maybe. Can we pop in a little bit of silicone along the way as well? There's some ice over here. I thought I saw. Yeah, that's ice. Ice there. Um, ice carbon. Oh, what was that? A little bit more carbon and iron over here. Which is not a bad idea to pick up on, but we've got a fair bit of carbon and iron ready to go all, all, all over. It's probably not what we're after. We should probably be looking for more along the lines of silicon. Ooh, a lot of ice and carbon over there. Oh yes, there was something over here. That's the one. Uh, no active probe launcher. Okay, I've switched it off. Let's just um, go over here and see about switching it back on. That's good. And we do have the power. So let's pop back out. Um, get the probe launcher up and running. And find that spot we had right over here. No, no, I'm after... I'm after that spot right there. So head on over that way, send the probe out. We'll pop back in. We'll see once the probe moves. We won't be able to pick up any other polymers. So we'll just switch that back off again. We'll we'll build another one as we need to. Okay, so that's out of the way. And what that means is we will now be uh, going and switching that off. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, I can come and pick these up. And then we can go about uh, removing all of this stuff. Luckily, roads cost nothing because we do need to do these bits and pieces every now and again. Okay, so I may leave a little bit of this in place. That connection through there might be might be pretty much good enough. Let's get that in place there, and we'll move that through there. So there we go. So we'll, we'll we already have a little bit to go on over here. Now, what I wanted to do over here, uh, we've got a fair bit of stuff. Yeah, not a lot, but a fair bit of stuff. So what we need to do is uh, get the water going. Pause it for a second while we quickly have a look. So that's the chronic pods. Um, we could build one of these big boys um, somewhere. Yeah, we could certainly build it on this side. It's going to kind of block my view a little, um, but we can certainly do that. Now, factories, we do have something along the line of a fusion station transforms 15 ice into 40 water every one cycle and stores it uh, and stores it. 
And we've got the waste treatment facility, which we're not going to use just yet. Then polymer refinery, those things are not okay. So what we can do is we can get the fusion station going. Ah, oh, it'll actually fit quite nicely uh, right there. If we do or right over there, which may even be a slightly a slight a slight improvement. So let's uh, and what does that cost? Sorry, I didn't even have a look at what it's going to cost us. That's two electronics and 60 alloys, so that should be pretty straightforward to do. We don't have the power to sustain this in the long run, though. And so we do need to be a little bit more mindful of it. Um, okay, so let's make a start on that. Uh, we will be shutting that off. Even though they're building it, we will be shutting it off so it doesn't become an issue. Uh, we are... Our hull integrity is looking sharp, so what I'll do is I will... Switch hull integrity stuff off for a little while. And we'll keep that going. Obviously, hull integrity is dropping now because we've got three sectors going. Over here, we've got this thing sorted out. So this is neutral. This is negative. We do need to build a little something on this side over here. Now, what I'll do is I'll stop moving electronics. Um... Let's just do that for the time being. Uh, actually, let's just do that. So we'll have a little bit of electronics there and probably just the one over there. And then we'll kind of do at least two of them over there. So we'll just keep uh, keep a bit of electronics going. Now, um, let's pop back out and see. So this guy is going to head through there and probably get... Um, it knocked out through that weather weather event there. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, this is the glue scap. It's probably coming back for... Yes, it's coming back for it. So it's moving pretty slowly. Let's do that. Uh, we do have the probe on its way this way. Yeah, so we are doing a fair bit at a quite... A, we're doing a pretty... It's a pretty slow pace at the moment. We do need to keep an eye on our food. And food is definitely one of the next things we need to have a look at. Now, what we can also do is probably start working on... Uh, I don't know how we store water, to be honest. Probably just in the sector. Well, <clears throat> water is required for several food production buildings. It can be created by transforming ice um, in a fusion station where it is also stored. Water cannot be moved between sectors. Okay, so that tells us that we need to move ice in here. We, this needs to become ice, and we'll switch that off for the time being. We're not going to have any workers for it. This is only 10 at least. We'll start working on that. Now, what we'll then need to do is we'll definitely need a little bit more housing. So I'm thinking, uh, from a population perspective, probably worth us grabbing a bit of cell housing. And I'm going to do it all the way over there. I'm going to just go ahead and pause this construction and switch it off. Uh, but ultimately, that's the idea with a bit of cell housing over there. We can ultimately also do um, probably uh, an EVA airlock somewhere. And that one, we should probably look at placing um, <clears throat> potentially somewhere over here. If we do that, I'm going to also go ahead and pause that and switch that off. Just so we have a little bit of room because we're going to need some extra EV airlocks and things like that. Now, at the same time, that means we're going to grab ourselves some road. Okay, so it's going to be a little, ah, a little something like this, I believe, as a starting point. We could do that okay and then what we'll do is we'll cancel this piece and we'll see how we how we plan out the rest so let's uh let's make a start on this i will cancel this for time being so we see maybe we're extending it this way instead okay so underway uh keep going what's happening over here we don't have any room for any further alloys so what we can do is move a little bit over to the other side. So let's just have a quick look at our resources over here. If we have a look at alloys, 
got we're storing 200 there so let's um let's try and get things up to 200 on this side and let's make sure we're getting it to 100 on that side we'll do that um and presumably battle says we only got 100 there so um let's 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 better use that space so we we keep clearing that out so we can continuously um, build some more. That's obviously the plan. Now, we're out of silicones and the things over here. So what I thought I'd do is I can now switch that off and switch this one off. And we'll we'll work with that and see where that goes. We're almost through um, the cryopods over here. And the new cryopods might have to move somewhere else. But we'll, we'll have a look at that. Just want to get us into a position of food. And then DLS Center can probably provide people with more food. Um, yeah, and that's probably what I'm going to go. Our trust is holding at the moment. And so I'm not going to be wo worried about that for the time being. But once we've got that up and ready, um, I'm, and, and we're getting much, much more food, I may move um, a little bit more food. Um, I, I might, might go up to double, pour, double rations or something or slightly improve the rations over here. So this is switched off, it's been built, and we can now... Oh, that's good. Hull integrity oh, below 50%. Good. Let's, uh, let's, switch hull in, let's switch this back on again and get our hull integrity back up. Um, at the same time, I should be able to switch this guy on. Yeah, there's enough power there. And what we'll do is we'll start moving ice um, into, sector, um, into sector 3. A probe has completed its scan. And that means in sector one, we need to switch this on so that they can, in fact, move it. And then we'll have a look. And now the question is, do we need an interim hop? Is the question. Can I do that? There we go. It seems to be working. Interesting how that works. So anyway, we'll get that in here. And once that's there, we'll start um, creating the... Um, uh, we'll start creating that. How's our... The electronics doing we're going to fair bit of electronics now but we do need more silicones silicone is in transforming yet again over here i would hope to see a little bit more of that sector sector three whoa why are we angry extra working conditions why 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 okay just let's let's just sort that out uh we need to basically switch a little something off so let's um unclog that one and um what I'll do is I'll switch this one off for the time being till we get optimal conditions. And hopefully this is going to work. Why are they angry? Okay, that's out. So we'll switch that one off as well. Now we've got optimal conditions, but people are for some reason quite angry. So we do need to start working that out. We're dropping a little bit at, the, at this point in time. So we do need to just have a quick look. So with that in mind, we can switch this guy on if we had the workers for it, but we probably do not. We can quite comfortably build this thing now. So let me grab, um, let me grab that. We'll get that built, um, and then we'll build that piece of housing over there, um, so we can see how we use this area. I might rebuild some of this area, but really, it's time to start having a look at what the food situation would look like. So I'm pausing the game for a second while we quickly have a look at the crop farm. The crop farm allows for the creation and automatic harvesting of up to nine crop fields using a significant amount of water to produce a large amount of food. It needs an electronic and 30 alloys, which is easy, not a lot of power, not a lot of workers. So uh, it seems to me that this is quite a useful, um, a useful little, little one. So let's have a look at that. If we do this and now over here, how do we how do we build the crop fields? Do we have to get that built first? Okay, so let's get that built. Um, I'll switch this thing back on again. It should still have optimal conditions here, so we can start building that. Um, and then we'll probably have to switch this off because we don't have the workers. Once that's built, we'll transfer. We'll migrate a few more workers over. We're building more uh, more stuff over here, so that's all good. This is all filled up. That's all. Well, not quite full up, but they can. Uh, we can start working this once it's ready to go. Excellent. Let's pop out and see what's going on over here. So still, 
What's happening here? Um, this guy, the glue scap, um, I would just like to... Um, do this and see where are you heading. Okay, excellent. So go there, pick up the stuff, move it in, and then we'll, and then we'll move on from there. Uh, because I don't want it to run through here. Did we... Did we see the stuff arrive? Oh, we've got one load arrived. The next load is still... We're still waiting on the next load. Okay, move that a little quicker. Oh, now this is done. Oh, excellent. So we're busy colonizing over here, which is awesome. So glue scap is all done. What I can do... Um, I'll pop in... Sorry, I'm going to pop in here. And just move the glue scap out of this... Out of this facility. So unassign it there. And, uh, and reassign the glue scap over here. Because everything needs to actually be brought in here. And we'll see about ice. We'll probably need a little spot for ice as well. Uh, once that thing's done, we'll clear that out. And we may reuse some of this area, to be honest. Uh, that's done. So, I think what I'll do is I will clear this out. Switch it off. I will switch that one on. And we'll continue to defrost some of our people. Hopefully that makes people a little bit happier. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. In sector one at a stockpile. That's okay. It's not the end of the world as long as we've got the workers for it. We still have plenty of workers available over there. And we can move them over once we, um, once we start building this guy. Um, and I think we may as well resume the construction there. So as soon as this guy's done, we'll move that one through and see how that goes. So ice is coming in thick and fast. Once we've got some more workers in this area, we'll be able to um, start doing the water thing and then we'll start doing the food thing and then hopefully we'll make everybody nice and happy with some additional rations. So that is kind of the plan at the moment. Sector 1 is happy. Sector 2 is negative and Sector 3 is super angry. Super angry because of, I'm thinking, optimized uh, from people living mostly in optimized quarters, but then there's a lot of these permanent buffs. Um, from the death of the earth, from leaving home behind, from discovering the fate of the Protagoras, from the, or our mortality, from spending too long in, in the system. And we're going to spend a fair bit of time in the system. So, But I think we're, we're, we're not close to being um, in trouble here. We just need to uh, make sure we can offset it somehow. So additional food, a DLS center, something like that would be able to sort us out a little bit. Steel mill has been disabled in sector 2. 22 crew has been ax uh, injured. My goodness. Anyway, we are moving into alloys pretty quickly, so that's okay. Now, um, can I pop out? Where's the glue scap at the moment? So the glue scap, um, I want to now go back over and do... Probably a little bit of carbon. So something like that is probably the right thing for us to do. So we've got kangaroo working on silicone, um, the glue scap working on carbon, and the Mizburner working on on um, on iron. And we did find a little bit of silicone over here, at least uh, four four electronics worth, and only a little bit of. Of carbon too so anyway we'll continue that hopefully we'll get the stuff in here in time we'll get more science that's almost done I want to see what's happening with the colonization that's very close to being done and to be honest I'll probably yeah we, we will see that in this episode so let's speed things up just a tad we'll pop back into the uh, into the tycoon and see what's happening with our construction pieces over here that is done now that this is done I'm gonna pause it just for a second and now what we're saying is ooh, okay now that's the that is a bit of an issue because it's not an optimal use of our we can do up to nine of them. So let's see if we do this. Okay, so that seems pretty reasonable. So a lot of alloys to go in there, so we do need to have a, a bit of a look at that. And we may, anyway, we'll just um, we'll just do it like this for the time being, so we can see 
see how that works. So alloys, alloys need to make their way that way. So we'll keep keep working on this. Um, but I would love to see us producing a fair bit more food over here. Um, but we'll obviously need to get a little bit of water sorted out first. So that's not too bad, but a few um, spaces there. What's going on over here? Stability is low. Um, strikes will occur in 4.9 cycles. Um, okay, so the sector stability. Um, people are angry and so sector stability is a bit of an issue. That means we will also need to do a little something else. So potentially like a DLS center um, is going to be required. I might do that. You just optimize. So go ahead, build that. I'll make ready for the DLA center. I hope it'll fit there, right? It'll, it should. Assigned yeah. ship team has completed a task. Okay, so now we've got pioneers. Let's go and head over there. That's going to be the end of what we do in this episode. So let's pop in there and see. Okay, the temporary test colony has now been established. The colonists will periodically transmit reports on their progress. These will provide us with valuable field data in data listening. And now leave the planet? Is that as simple as that? Okay, well, there we go. We've done, we've, we've established a colony. Your can colony infrastructure is present on this planet. So we'll see what that does. Um, but we can actually send the melon over to the Protagoras so that we can... Um, continue our work in terms of finalizing that and then we should be able to sort this out why are we not collecting any silicone is my question so kangaroo where are you buddy oh it's taking it's taking stuff over there and then it'll probably pop back and get the silicone excellent that's good um and i think that is kind of where we're gonna leave it so uh, a bit of a a bit of a you know not too not too crazy um an update here on the on the colonization a little bit of an anti-climax there but we are picking up a lot of different stuff there's some ice to be to be gathered here still and some carbons and things that we need to pick up a little bit of a little bit of silicone still over here which the glue scap is now picking up i mean the kangaroo and uh, we are now doing the chevy works over there so we are kind of closing out this uh, this area and i do definitely want us to um get this stuff up and running um fairly soon but anyway, this is this this will slowly make its way through here. We need some more workers in here. We need that. We need to make sure that we uh, don't have strikes here. So just bear that in mind uh, while we await these things. Let's quickly pop in and just see: Are we getting alloys to sector three? Come on, guys! Sector three needs alloys. Um, I will go ahead and drop this down to like 102 so we can get a little bit more alloys over at sector 3 so we can build things a little quicker this is going to take a lot of alloys um, we want the DLS center set up as well so let's quickly make a start on that so I don't forget at the start of the next episode give me the DLS center over there what, what does that actually take us take to build it takes 35 alloys and an electronic and a few workers get the DLS center in there that should make people a little happier and um, the other option with stability is this guy. The science ship has arrived at its destination. Which actually, this may actually be a little bit... Uh, no, no, no. Let's just get that in place. That should be should be much quicker. We could easily do the food thing over here and, and do some additional propaganda. Um, so that should should help quite a lot. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, we've got extra working conditions. I'll, I'll, I'll get back into that in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.